I started working at Mackenzie River Music, which was a huge effect on my musical life. I worked here from, I want to say it was like 95 or 96 to 2002-ish maybe. Bob taught me so much about business and guitars and the history of guitars and Dick too. Dick knew a lot about that. Um, what I learned from Dick sitting across from him day in and day out was how to talk to people. Because before then I was pretty awkward and my mentorship with him had everything to do with how to find ease in talking, how to be friendly with people in an environment that's a sales environment without it being gross and weird, to learn how to listen. And this is also where I was introduced to a large part of my guitar style, which is you know country swing. When I started working here, I was a bar chord guy and I did a lot with it, had lots of fun, but my style didn't really develop, really, until I started putting on a thumb pick and banging my head against the wall, trying to learn how to use this sucker on an acoustic guitar and learn how to move chords around, learn how to grab notes in any position and make music with it. It just gave me, between the country swing, punk and metal background, learning from Bill, AKA Zoot, it just gave me the sense of freedom where I could create this heavy music that had elements that reached from everywhere, from Towns Van Zandt to all my old roots to, to you name it. You know, it all came through this shop. The swing stuff, it's like when you're in a position, they'd be like, okay, what can you grab that's nearby? And, you know, I mean, obviously that's the, the setup for any kind of finger picking but there's a percussive quality to it because they're creating the alternating bass lines and all the melody at the same time. So they get this. percussiveness is where I started getting my ideas for Yob is being able to move all that stuff around and start to think about you know what's all nearby. Growing up it was definitely just friction you know I, I think my my parents didn't know how they gave birth to me and I don't know didn't know how I came from them because we were just so different. And what I was interested in was different than what they were interested in. And I was soft. I was kind of overweight, was into music and wanted to grow out my hair. And when I pierced my ear, that was just like a big deal. In 1982, that was around here, that was a big deal. And, and my mother, um, her support was to take me to shows and pick me up. She didn't understand it but she took me to pretty much any show I wanted to go to and would pick me up when the show was done. And that's, you know, as a kid, you think that's pretty cool, but as an adult, you look back and go, well, that was really cool. It took a long time for my dad in particular to realize not just that I was who I was, but that I was okay. Because he was just worried about me because he came from an old school upbringing and he just saw me get my ass handed to me all the time. and just kind of endless grief from every direction. And, and my dad was just trying to prepare me for what he saw as the world. He wanted to help me out in such a way to kind of maybe normalize me so that I wouldn't take so much crap. But for me, that was just not an option. You know, it was hard times, but he meant well. Um, he just didn't know how to deal with me. <laughs> and it took a while for us to get on the same page with that. But once we did, it's been, you know, we have a great relationship and you know, we've both grown a lot, and, but it was hard. It was a hard situation for a good while and 
And it was mirrored everywhere that I grew up. So in school, it was getting a lot of flack and walking down the street, it was getting a lot of flack. And I was going home and getting the same flack because that was the environment. That was where I grew up, but I just didn't fit. But, you know, and I was also really awkward and had a hard time relating to people until I started playing music. And then um, I, it just opened doors for me to where, you know, I could be awkward and weird and be in these bands and play music. And, and that, that became like a glue for me to, to step outside of um, Springfield, Oregon and start being living in a bigger world than, than what that mindset was at that time. But my parents are very supportive. They're very proud. Um, they support in every way that they can. Beating on the door? Oh, yeah, right here. Yeah. Yeah, this step here. That was from them. Take it for the. 